Hey guys, Mohan Pobey with another video and this one is about one of probably my favorite lessons from Dan Pena. Let's get to it. So hey, if you're new to this channel, this channel is all about me sharing, documenting my journey in the world of QLA, especially in growing by acquisitions. So if you have a business, I'm here to show you how to buy another business in your sector or complementary business and ideally become the biggest player in your industry so you can then sell it or just continue to own it as an owner investor and not as an owner operator or manager who's doing the repeatable day-to-day -day stuff but you have a management team to take your role um, so this is me sharing documenting my journey i know this is the channel that i wish that i had when i started someone to follow someone to um, learn from especially from his mistakes i know that i made a lot of mistakes that cost me a lot of money and mental trouble and and hard times to, to to put it into words but yeah this is this channel if you didn't yet subscribe like the video comment below get engaged and it will motivate me to do more videos for you so and obviously to do more deals because you guys help me with deal flow and i help you with uh, doing those deals so uh, what else what else yeah go go to the links in the description below and there are links for you to submit your biggest questions so that's one you put your personalized details and i'm creating those videos based on your suggestions and i'm doing them personalized based on your questions and there's a link for you to join our free business mind mastermind so do that right now if you didn't yet and right now let's get directly to today's lesson and i'm quoting dan the lesson is fear is full expectations appearing real and i fucking love that sentence here's the thing guys most people don't take action and the reason they did do that behind all their masks so you probably have the reasons that you think you're not taking action i don't have the right system i don't have the right mentor i don't have the right dream team i don't have the right deal i don't have financing i don't know how to know if a deal is a good deal blah 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 so many things in the end of the day it always comes down to fear because if you weren't afraid if you really believe that you deserve it you would find a way to get that mentor. You would find a way to pay him, to work for him for free, to be a slave, to, learn, to do whatever it takes to find the system because system is only 10 or 20%. Everything around that is mindset and support. And that's the biggest thing. And people, and I mentioned that in other videos, people are perfectionists, they're afraid to fail and they're afraid to be successful. They think that if they'll be successful, their friends won't love them, their family won't love them. And many times it's on your subconscious level and not in your conscious. And your subconscious is taking, is responsible for more, of, more than 90% of your decisions. So if you're not able to control that, you won't be able to control your results. The best thing you can do, like I said in many, many other videos, is to be around people who already had the results that you want to have. Um, so I want to start that video with that. So again, guys, Fear is false expectations appearing real. So what that means exactly. And it comes down to people afraid to take the action that will lead them to results. They're afraid to call the business owner. They're afraid to um, look at the numbers. They don't even know how to look at numbers. They're afraid to talk to brokers. They're afraid to make an offer. They're afraid from so many little things and they're always looking to waste time and avoid the actual actions that will make shit happen and many people will tell you no you need another this and another that but in the end of the day guys your fear it's it's how can i put it into action that the fear isn't you're not really afraid of the actual uh, results when you take action you realize the action isn't really scary it's all in your head like literally everything that's going around you like you probably see life different than me and everyone else is seeing life differently based on their beliefs and you're afraid of the action it's like i'm sure you tried to do something in your life in the past you were really afraid to do it but then when you actually did it you were actually engaged so much in the in the action you were so present you loved the action just even thinking about if you like to go to um to, to, to on roller coasters for example before you go on those things for the first time you're like what the fuck is this no way i'm gonna go there especially when you're a kid but you, when you're on it you're like in the zone you're fucking loving every second of it and there's a very small difference between fear and excitement and the problem is that people don't understand that fear many times is just an excitement and they just need to literally uh, i guess transfer that idea of fear into excitement and you need to understand whenever you're afraid this is an opportunity for you 
to be excited about something, to be engaged, to be present, and to really enjoy the process. And most people that I know are, are not doing that, especially the, the unsuccessful ones. Those who are successful, you see one of the reasons is that they're so successful is because they're jumping into the water. They're doing the things they're afraid of, and that's how they're, be, they're able to develop themselves because they're doing things they're afraid of. And even if they fail for once, they know to adjust very fast and do those things again. And eventually it becomes like a second nature to them. And then they're able to be successful again and again in those things. Now, people will tell you, you need to, uh, I guess, get your communication skills better. You need this, you need that. But guys, financial institutions, brokers, business owners, they don't give a shit about that. They care about, are you able to serve them and give them the value and results that they want. Everyone is selfish in the end of the day. If you can't understand that, I don't care how many Toastmasters you're going to do, or how many more courses you're going to do on communication skills and confidence and all that shit. Yes, it's good to have those things, but in the end of the day, it's all about your perspective and mindset when you talk to business owners, when you talk to financial institutions, when you talk to business owners, because they have their agendas and their needs. And unless you understand what they're looking for exactly, it's going to be really hard to meet those things and get results if it's with brokers, with business owners again, or raising capital. When you raise capital from, from financial institutions, is it important to have communi good communication skills and, and uh, I guess know how to talk to them? Yes, to some extent, but in the end of the day, they don't give a shit about if you know how to speak like, uh, I don't know, uh, who, who would I have in mind, right? Whatever, someone with a very good communication skill, Bill Clinton, whatever, right? All they care about is, are you able to get their loan back? Is the business that you're looking to buy is able to do that? Unless you can provide that value to them, they don't give a shit about who you are personally or what kind of suit you wear. And every day that it goes by and you're not practicing those things from the right positioning and perspective, you're not going to get the results. And unless you have, again, the mindset when you're talking to those people and the understanding, obviously, of the system so on what to do when this happened, what to do when that happened. And that can't, can't happen from reading another book because when you're reading a book and reading a book, you're doing something, you read it once, most likely you forget about those things. It's critical when you take in action. And when you take in action, you need someone who did it to bring his lessons from the hundreds of deals that he did before and then tell you, hey, do this, do that, 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 or whatever the fuck I'm saying. I hope that makes sense, guys. You need someone with experience to show you exactly what's going on because some information you saw in a video or read in a book two months ago won't help you. You, won't, you will forget about it and you probably won't even have the certainty to go through those actions without someone who actually was there already, especially in those... Uh, big deals when we're looking to buy businesses, multi-million dollar business is going to be really, really hard. Um, so what to do, it's either with me and my team or with anyone else, go find someone who's given you the system, who's given you the accountability, the support, and is literally holding your hand while you're looking to buy those businesses and grow by acquisitions. Otherwise, I can tell you as someone who did a lot of mistakes, it's going to be really, really hard for you especially if you don't have the experience of running at least seven, eight figure business in the past, because even if you're able to get the deal going through, it's gonna be really, really hard to then manage that business the right way. Again, unless you have the experience. Um, I'm telling you, based on my personal experience, it's really, really hard. And people think that um, they don't understand how difficult it is to do a deal. And even when they do a deal, they don't understand what things need to happen during due diligence, after due diligence, all the implications that comes into merging businesses together, different cultures, different systems. There's so many things involved. That's why you see even in, in a multi-billion dollar mergers, companies need to shut down sometimes because they weren't in, uh, they just weren't able to, to do all the things necessary after they merged together or bought one each other. So unless you have that in place or the experience, it's going to be really, really difficult. And unless you have the support team around you, um, it's almost impossible to also make money from that. So if you want that help of me and my team, a team that did more than 300 deals and you have an existing business doing at least six figures, and you want our help growing it by acquisitions. So not focusing on more sales and marketing, but by going and buy other companies with management team that can take over your role as well. So you'll become ideally an owner investor, not an owner manager. If you want our help, go to mohanpaber.com forward slash talk and see the details there. 
Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, comment if you didn't yet and hit the notification button and also see the links in the description below. We have a group, we have a, a link for you to submit your questions. So go and do that if you didn't yet. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon.